Hello everyone. My name is Nachiketa and I am a computer vision engineer at Avidos and in this video I am going to give you a detailed walkthrough of the world's first computer vision operating system. And this video is divided into two parts, the Avidos operating system for the consumer and the Avidos operating system for the developer. So before getting started, let's first understand what a computer vision operating system does. Simply put, it is the computer vision equivalent of Android or iOS. So let's take Android for example. What does Android allow a developer to do? It allows you as a developer to build applications. It provides you development environments like the Android Studio, which makes sure that whatever applications you build on that are compatible with all Android devices. And for the end consumer, it provides you something called as the Play Store or the App Store where you can simply browse all the applications and install that by just the click of a button and get it working on your phone. And based on what kind of apps you're using, you might even get alerts or notifications on your phone whenever a certain event or alert is triggered. Now imagine all of this, but specifically for artificial intelligence and computer vision. And that's what Averos has built. So let's say you want, you're someone who wants a computer vision application. Let's say you want to install a face recognition software in your office. Or let's say you're someone who wants to detect the number of cars on any given street or the number of bicycles on any given street using a camera. That's a computer vision application. So how do you go about doing that? Without Averos, that process is pretty troublesome. You would have to set up specialized cameras you would have to find AI softwares online or you would have to contact vendors who can build that application for you. Then you would have to set up separate hardware and software if you want all the alerts and all the events that have been generated by that particular application. If, and if you want to scale up or if you want multiple applications, you separately have to invest in more hardware and software support to get all of that running. Now let me show you the Avros dashboard that a customer or a client of Avros gets to use. So this is the Avros dashboard. This page has every single thing that any potential customer or user would want from a computer vision application. So you have something called as the resources summary and active terminals represent on how many places or sites is your application running. So let's say your application is running in one office in Delhi. That is what this active terminals represent. The number of active sources represent the number of cameras on which your application is running and active apps is the number of AI applications that are running. So at a time, more than one application can be run on multiple cameras at multiple sites and everything can be monitored from a single page. So you can see the average hardware utilization that a particular application uses and for now, the application that is running can be seen in the timeline. So right now, the vehicle counter application is running which basically counts the number of vehicles on a particular street. It, this will detect whether a particular vehicle is a car or a motorbike or a truck and everything in real time. So whenever an event is generated or a particular object has been detected, you can see that in the severity column. And you can set different kinds of severity alert, like let's say, if you detect an unknown person in the office, that should be given a very high severity. And based on that, you can categorize the kind of events that are being generated and everything can be seen over here. You can click on any event that has been generated and you can view it in more detail. You can see what the detection was, how confident your model was. And basically it makes your life very easy when you want to do any kind of analysis. And we have something called as the start section where you'll be able to get an analysis of the number of events that were generated from which application were they generated. So, and you can see what time the alerts were generated and how many alerts were generated on an average by which application. And if you want to use some other application, other software for your cameras, you simply have to go to something called as the app stack, which is the computer vision equivalent of a play store or an app store. And you can see the number of applications that we have over here. We have more than 50 applications running, which are the most widely used applications in the industry. You can see applications for intrusion detection, for face mask detection, for facial recognition, for license plate recognition. And if you want to get it running on any camera, you simply have to click on the explore button 
you can select which camera you want to run this application so you can register any cameras any num you can register any number of cameras you want you select that camera and you simply click on the play button and that application will start running and you will be able to see that in your dashboard so this is what an avaros consumer gets to use now moving to the second part which is that of a developer if you're someone who's a developer avaros makes converting ai models into market ready applications very easy if you go to the avaros website you'll be able to view in more detail how avaros helps developer but in short all you have to do as an ai developer is to bring the core model or the ai algorithm that you have built and the rest of the part of taking that application into the market which involves creating a user interface for it managing the backend for it containerizing that application and scaling it up on many servers all of that is taken by avaros and this diagram represents very clearly what a ai developer does what all parts avaros takes care of once we take the ai algorithm that you have built and convert that into a market ready application those applications will be visible in the avaros app stack and basically it will give your app enhanced visibility to all the avaros customers and this is where you will be able to view it and as soon as your application gets into the hands of customer you start earning revenue from it and you own complete rights of the algorithm that you built so this is what avaros provides to developers and we will be bringing out more videos on how exactly you can push your algorithm and convert that into an avaros app but that was all for this video if you have any doubts or there's something that you're interested in reach out to us check out our websites and do subscribe to this channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends in the ai and computer vision market and see you in the next video